Networking is for guys who don't have the balls to go get what they want. Okay, I'm not trying to insult you, but I've been there too. I've been there, and I I got the wrong advice. I listened to these fucking you know shitty business books or whatever. Sell the fuck out of something of value, and forget about finding a mentor. Forget about finding some magical VC money for your unprofitable startup. Forget about that dream job. Forget about getting something for nothing because you're a nice guy and you hover around the right people at the right party. No one cares about you except for your mom and maybe your close friends and maybe your girlfriend, and that's it. No one's going to reach out their hand to help because you're a nice guy they met at a party. Why would they, right? Instead, people are going to see that and it's going to make you a target for you know, self-improvement scams and you know, buying into shitty products like The Secret, okay? I hate that stuff. There's an entire industry built on peddling false hope around you. Don't buy in, all right? Don't buy into that shit. You got to work hard. You got to do the uncomfortable things to sell. You really got to put yourself out there. But when you do that, you actually get results, okay? In business, you're lucky just to find guys who won't fuck you over, let alone someone's going to help you you know, someone someone who's going to go out of their way to help you for nothing. If some guy is offering you some kind of thing for nothing, you gotta you got to be, be wary about why he's doing that, all right? Maybe you're a young, good-looking guy, and he wants to get you into bed, <laughs> you know? Now, I'm not saying people aren't going to help you in life. I don't want you to develop a really cynical attitude, but the people that are going to help you are your close friends, okay? My close buddies have let me sleep on their couch when I needed a place to stay, helped me get a shitty job to get me between months where I was really broke. You know, one buddy lied on my references as a salesman, you know, to get me like a better job. Incredible guys, guys who I'll never forget what they did. But those are close friends, okay? Not some striving fucking hustler that I met at a, at a, a networking event who could not give a fuck about me. All right, your close friends will help you. Your mom will help you. Your girlfriend will help you. That's going to be about it, and and that's the reality. So, networking with no concrete objectives and expecting something in return is a fool's errand. All it's going to do is increase your social obligations and decrease the size of your bank account. If you want money or freedom or women, you have to have something of value. Okay, you have to be valuable or make yourself valuable or make something of value or work for a company that's that has something of value and then you have to sell the fuck out of it. And selling means closing deals, not having some pleasant conversation with Johnny Jerkoff at the hotel bar. All right. Closing deals means you know what you're pitching, you know who you're pitching, you know how much, and you are there to fucking close, okay? You are there with the intention to close and to make money, not for some fantasy thing to happen maybe five years down the road. If you're having a comfortable, pleasant conversation, you're networking, and you're networking with a guy who's not a decision maker because decision maker is not going to have a long conversation with some guy he doesn't know. He's too fucking busy for that, okay? Now, I know you might have some guy who got lucky at a party and some job dropped on his lap, but that's a fucking job. You don't want to work a job anyways. You want to build a business. You want to make money for yourself. Think about how much time that guy had to spend and how much money he had to spend on memberships and drinks and food. All that time and money should be spent on building your business and selling your own business. I live in Thailand. There's all kinds of these digital nomad conferences and networking things which I don't go to because they're not going to make me money. They're going to cost me money, okay? The only way that I could possibly make money from some, something like this is if I met, if I knew that there's going to be a guy there who's going to be making, who makes more money online than me and he has more than 150,000 visitors a month and he's a big name blogger and I have a partnership or I have something that I can sell him on, not just, hey, man, your stuff's great. Can you tell me how to make more money? Because he's not gonna he's not gonna waste his time with me. Okay? There there is no incentive for me. And unless you are selling something of value, there's gonna be no incentive for you to go to these things. All right. 
Funny thing is, though, when you have something of value, people reach out to you. Every week, you know, I get pitched by a couple people who want my services for something. Most of the time, they're pitching me on something for nothing, right? They're, they're reaching out to me because I've built a valuable blog, or at least I hope I have. I hope that you guys feel that way. But uh, when I had nothing of value, no one was reaching out to me, and no one cared about me. I, I promise you that, <laughs> okay? And the way that I did that was look at every article of mine. Look at what I'm talking to you about right now, all right? I am trying to solve a problem in your life, okay? I'm trying to find a pain point, I'm trying to find a solution, and I'm trying to add value, okay? I'm not giving you a rambling diatribe about my feelings for that day or about philosophical ideas or about politics. All of the shit that I'm interested in, okay, I'm interested in talking about that stuff, but that doesn't add direct value to your life, okay? I want to solve a problem with every single article, every audio, and every video I do, and I want it to be the best the best one out there. If you are searching for how to get better with women or how to get laid online, I want to have the best solution for you. I want you to read it and say, this guy's the best. That's, that is my goal with every single article I write, every book I write, the best, okay, the most valuable. Because I know that you guys don't give a fuck about my feelings. My feelings aren't going to pay your rent. My feelings aren't going to get you laid. My feelings aren't going to um, get you on a mission in life. All right? The second I stop providing that value, I'm out of business. All right? I add value to, to your life. I make money. If I don't, I, I go broke. And that, that is the reality of all business. Okay? Okay? So that's what I try and do with my site is build, make it as valuable as possible and then I sell it to you. Every article, every, every audio, every video I'm doing is a sales tool, okay? What I'm selling you on is a solution to a particular problem, okay? The problem you're having is you're trying to get ahead in life and maybe you're trying to network and I'm telling you don't do that, sell instead. I've got a four-part guide on sales. I've got you know how to do a service-based business. And in that way, I'm trying to give you the best possible solution for a guy who's looking to make money and, and who's, who's looking to do it with a realistic attitude. And that does a few things for me. That solves your problem, that solidifies me as an authority and solidifies my site as an authority website that you are going to recommend to your friends that you might come back to and... If you like my articles enough and you see enough value, then that is going to make you more likely to purchase one of my products because I've developed a trust with you where you know that I'm going to give you something of quality. And that is also going to increase my Google ranking because you're going to visit articles. You might repost on Facebook. You might tell your buddies about it. And bit by bit, person by person, that increases the value of my site. Okay, so I view every article, every audio, every video as a sales tool on both adding value, solving a problem in your life, and selling myself as an authority. And the second I stop being able to add value to you, I'm out of business. That's why I don't worry about copycats or any other thing like that. I just focus on providing as much fucking value as I can, and then I sell it to you guys on my sales pages, and that's it. Okay, in sales, it was I'm selling commercial currency or I'm selling ads and I'm making 100 phone calls a day and I'm hammering the phone and I'm, and I'm going nuts on, on the phone and, and, and meeting people in person. And that's what it's all about. Okay, that is how you actually get paid, not, not from networking. So the moral of the story is have something of value, sell it, and get rid of time wasters. This applies the same to a potential client in business as it does to a potential fuck buddy on Tinder. If you're not selling, you're wasting your time. So leave the, leave the networking to the amateurs. That's it, guys. I want to thank you again for listening or watching. And as always, I wish you all the best.